Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Have you been? Oh, good, you're welcome. This is Bessie Laguna TV, it's a great channel. Hallelujah. For those of you that have subscribed, I love you so much. I thank you. Grow this channel with me, grow with me. Grow with me, my brothers and sisters. We're going to get to 1 million one day. Hallelujah. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and you are new. Touch the bell and stay with us. God bless you. Hallelujah. So I'm here to share the God's word with you. Hallelujah. There are some people out there, they are Christians. They have fear, so much fear in their hearts. They fear every single little thing. If they say there is COVID, they are afraid. If they say there is this, they are afraid. You're not supposed to be afraid. You're supposed to be afraid. The word of God says in Isaiah 43, say, Fear not, for I am with you. I'm with you. He said you pass through the waters. It's no it's no uh, it's no um overflow you. It's not through the fire, it's not burn you. So fear not, fear not. Remove that fear from your heart. As a child of God, be strong and be confident in God. Have no fear at all. I have no fear at all. Hallelujah. Anything you hear that looks fearful, do not fear. If you catch yourself trying, becoming afraid, say stop. Tell yourself stop. God's word says that no fear that is with me. That will help me. God is with you. God will help you. If you pass through the water to not overflow you, you pass through the fire to not burn you. Remember in the Bible, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown in the fire, it no burn them. Daniel was thrown. In the lions then is lions did not eat them because God was with them. Now the picture of what it means for God to be with you. When God is with you, nothing, no matter how big, no matter how fearful, no matter what it is, can harm you. Nothing can touch you. I pray God will open your eyes today to see that God is with you. No, and also his angels are with you. So do not be afraid. Stop being afraid. Because you are a Christian. Why are you afraid? Afraid of what? When God is not sleeping because of you, when he's awake watching over you, when his eyes are moving to and fro the earth, looking for how to pull himself strong on your behalf, you are still afraid for what? For what? If that trouble comes, remain strong and say, I know my God is fighting my battle. I know my God sees this trouble coming. He has already prepared for it. I'm already the victor. That's what you should be saying because that's the truth. That's the truth. God bless you today. Fear not. Hallelujah. That's the word I brought for you today. If you're not born again, say this prayer after me. Give your life to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you. Be my Lord. Be my savior. I believe in my heart that you died for me. You were buried. On the third day, you rose up from the dead. Lord Jesus, I love you. Father God in heaven, I thank you for sending your son to die for me. I'm now yours in Jesus' name. If that prayer was said by you, that's the prayer of salvation. You are now born again. Stay with us on this channel by subscribing and touching the bell. And and just know watch our videos to grow more. We have Bible teachings, we have prophecies, word of knowledge, we have the whole of the Bible and other places. Stay with us and share this video to all those are your contacts. God bless you. I love you. See you next time. Remember to subscribe. Bye.